Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust with 31 Triple Doppler. The weather's so cold, people don't really want to go out. And just one day can really hurt a small business if the traffic is slow, yeah. you yeah. know, in terms of their customers. It's the days on end that really... And yeah, so hopefully we get back to normal pretty soon. We're hoping so. Uh, next week's going to be a lot better than this week. I can promise you that. Uh, as far as the next few days, though, we're not quite with, done with the, the cold weather just yet. Uh, there's a front moving through tonight that's going to bring us another surge of uh, awfully cold air here in North Alabama before we're done with this winter weather uh, for good heading into next week. Had a little rain this afternoon that's uh, not, a, not terribly heavy, but the totals have been around uh, two tenths of an inch to a quarter inch in areas like Huntsville and Decatur, a little bit uh, less than that in Muscle Shoals. So uh, not torrential downpours by any means, but the, the question now is th that moisture that fell, uh, when is that going to freeze back up? That could cause a new set of problems for us. 31 triple Doppler right now shows the rain has mostly cleared out. We have very light showers in northeast Alabama. That'll be out of here pretty soon. What's left is some fog and some drizzle in some spots. It looks like that fog is beginning to clear out of the shoals. This is Florence and uh, near the Tennessee River Bridge and things have definitely cleared out just in the past 30 minutes there, but still some low visibility in areas like Athens, like Madison and Decatur. Uh, I would give it a few more hours before we see that visibility improve in those locations. So between now and 4 a.m., we're looking at wet roads, at least for those main highways, more uh, traveled, well-traveled roads. Uh, those will stay wet through about 4 a.m. After that is when I expect temperatures to dip down below freezing, which is when we could see some black ice develop on the roads that became wet earlier today and are still wet at this hour. Those less travel roads have been still pretty hazardous today and will remain hazardous throughout the night tonight. We have a winter weather advisory still in place until 6 a.m. Uh, we're not really going to see any freezing rain. There is at least a slim chance at freezing drizzle uh, late tonight, but pretty much our main concern now is what's the rain on the road or what's the moisture on the road going to do late tonight? Will it freeze and just how much will it cause havoc on the roads tomorrow morning? What we're going to be keeping an eye on tomorrow is the temperatures. Temperatures are expected to stay at or below freezing all day long. We'll be hovering near that freezing mark in the morning and then cooling down even more during the afternoon. So yes, travel can kind of break up that black ice potential during the daytime. But I think once the sun sets tomorrow, we are going to see the roads become fairly slick and that will be the case through uh, Friday night into Saturday morning as well. It'll be a windy day tomorrow as well with gusts up to 30 to 35 miles per hour, and that is going to knock our wind chill down quite a bit. Uh, we're looking at wind chills in the upper teens to low 20s throughout the daytime tomorrow. It gets awfully cold again after that. Single digit wind chills by this time tomorrow evening. Many of us could see those numbers drop below zero on early Saturday. It is possible it gets as low as 10 below zero for what it feels like outside on Saturday morning. We had that feel earlier this week. Looks like we'll have another round of bitter cold air coming our way. Wind chill advisory in place from 10 p.m. tomorrow through noon on Saturday. That's when the worst of the cold is going to occur. We're only going to see a high of 23 on Saturday despite mostly sunny skies. So I don't anticipate we're going to have a whole lot of snow melt occur at that time. It's not going to be until next week that we see the temperatures improve to the 40s, 50s, and even the 60s. For the main roads, I would say they're going to be kind of hit and miss from Friday through the weekend. Monday is when we should see those main roads get pretty close to back to normal and should see uh, some quick improvement after that. Side roads, the neighborhood streets, the parking lots, sidewalks uh, might be a tough go for you for the next few days. Once we get those highs in the 40s on Monday and then 50s on Tuesday, we should see some drastic improvements. It's not just going to be those highs improving, but also the lows will climb above freezing starting on Monday night, and we are going to stay completely above freezing for the rest of next week. So it should be some quick improvement, quite a bit of snow melt coming our way, and then quite a bit of rain as well. Uh, we're looking at potentially two to three inches at least of rainfall next week. Oh, wow. wow. That plus the snow melt uh, could cause some issues with flooding. I know well, you'll be watching it.